If we take a number of the queries that we've created whilst looking at this multiple table querying, for example, the QRY A to Z customers, we can see that that gives us our 18,000 customers with the country that they're in. Now, if I only wanted one of those countries, I could simply place a criteria in the country name, view, and I then see the French customers, 1,810 of them. If I then wish to see the Canada, I could come in and change that criteria to Canada and view, and I see the Canada ones. Now that's okay and it works, but what we would need to do is create a query for each of the countries that exist in the data, or expect our end users to be able to go into the query grid and change the criteria correctly. An alternative would be to give this query a parameter so that every time it ran, it actually asked the person running the query which country do they require? Now we achieve that by firstly deleting the word Canada that we've put in there, and then we add a criteria of our own that is encompassed by square brackets. So I open a set of square brackets, put a little bit of text, I'm just going to put which country, and then I close square brackets. I'm going to do a save as, that's F12. It is QRY A to Z customers, but it has a parameter, so I'm going to put param at the end. OK. And then to see this in action, we simply view the query. And I'm asked which country. Well, let's try France. OK. And it gives me all the French customers. I go back into design and view again. I'm again asked which country. It doesn't remember anything here. It doesn't remember France. Canada. OK. And I see the Canadian customers. So if I close this query, Every time I run this particular query, I am asked firstly, which country? And then I answer, Australia. OK, and I see the Australian customers. So instead of creating one query for each of the countries, I simply add a parameter in for that country and make one query much more useful. So the query asks you for the filter, effectively, the filter criteria is placed in the field, and the result comes out. So every time you run this, you'll be asked again. It doesn't remember any of the settings. Now we can use these parameter queries in any of the criteria boxes. Obviously, you would just change the text within the square brackets to make sense so the person knew what they were typing. So I could take that particular param, place it in the last name, and then say, which last name? Then when I run, I'm asked for the country. Let's go for Canada. I'm asked for which last name. Let's go for Smith. And then those two criteria are used to filter out the data. And I see all the Canadian Smiths, 16 of them. So that's an extra criteria. They are asked in the order left to right. So it always asks me for which country first and then which last name. Let's save that as well. F12, QRY. A to Z customers, param, country, and name. Now there's nothing to stop me using that promise in any of the criteria and adding an operator as well. So if I remove the two criteria that I've got and come to total purchase YTD, it may be that I wish to find out anyone who's spent over a certain amount. So I use the more than symbol and follow that with a criteria saying more than how much? Close square brackets. It doesn't really matter what you put in those square brackets. View the square brackets text here is driven by whatever you put in the square brackets. Square brackets themselves is what drives the parameter box to appear. So more than how much? Well, more than 10,000. Okay, and I see there's 29 customers have spent more than 10,000 in total. Another save as, I think. QRY, A to Z customers, param, sales value. OK. Any criteria you can think of to put in a criteria box will work with parameters. I may even wish to do a between and and. So between lower range and upper range. The square brackets here are around lower range. Let's put a little question and around upper range, 
Both of those criteria will then feed into my between and, and I'll get total purchase YTD that are between two values. View, what's the lower range? Let's say 10,000. What's the upper range? 15,000. So then I will get any sales between 10 and 15,000. Anything over 15,000 doesn't qualify. Anything below 10,000 doesn't qualify. So 29 customers have spent between 10 and 15,000. And looking quickly through the numbers, because there's only 29, I can see that that's the case. So that's Q, R, Y, A to Z, customers, param, sales, value. So these parameter values are useful where you want the user to give some input into the criteria, whether that's a straight match, as we did with the countries, or whether that's criteria that you're going to use with operators, as we did with more than, and as we did with between and. So anytime you find yourself repeating queries and just changing slightly the criteria, try and think this would be a good candidate for a parameter query. Even if it's just for yourself to use, it means you can have one query instead of lots of queries.